hey people welcome back i'll be here in today's video i'll be showing you how i create a bustier pattern using my own measurement the measurements required for this pattern are your bust measurement waist hip and the length of the bustier and the additional measurements include the bust line waist line hip line and the bust to bust measurement I then came in to add half inch to my bust measurement and then I divided it by four. I did the same for the waist where I added one and a half inch and the one inch will be for the dot allowance while the half inch will be for the wearing is. And for the hip I added another half inch and I divided it by four. And while my length is 16. My bust line measurement is taken from where I want my bustier to start up to the level of my bust which is 5 inch and my waist placement or my waistline is 12 inches and the hip line is 16 which is the same measurement as my hip and finally my bust to bust measurement which is 4 and half inch to start off the pattern using the width of my ruler i drew in a vertical line in the center front of the pattern and a horizontal line above it i would then be measuring my bust line waist line and hip line my bust line is 5 inches i marked it severally and then i connected it I then did the same for the waist and the hip. I will then be taking my bust measurement and will be measuring it at the first line on the pattern and the bust. I marked my bust the waist and the hip I then connected the bust to the waist and the hip to the waist in the bust line there is still an excess of half inch on the side of it so I take in half of it and marked it at the top of the line and then I redrew my side for my next step, I'll be measuring my bust to bust measurement, which is four and a half. I marked it from the center front inwards on the bust line. After marking it at the bust line, I then marked it at the top of the pattern paper, the waist and the hip, and then I drew a line to connect them all. On the waist line, I marked half inch on both sides, which will be our dart legs. From the hip line, I did another two inches inwards, marking it, and then I drew in the dart. From the bust line to the waist line, then into the hips. From the bust line upwards, I'll be marking another dart using half inch on both sides. And from the side of the pattern, I marked 2 inches inwards and connect it to the dart I just created. And then I came in again to mark another half inch from the top to the bust line and then I redrew it. I made an adjustment into my waist dart and then another one inch dart on the side of the pattern while drawing it to the bust line. I cut my waistline dart from the bottom to the top of it. I then cut the side dart 
closed it and taped it down and redrew the side and this is to create as much curve on the side pattern as possible on the side of the pattern I found the midpoint by using my tape measure at the top bust line and the waist and then I drew in a vertical line to connect it all Using the same method, I created my back pattern without the side dart and the top dart. I brought in my front side to mark it on the back side pattern. I then marked 1 inch above the bust line from the center back and drew in from the side of the pattern to the center back. I found the midpoint of the side pattern on the bust line, the waist, and drew it in. And then I cut out the rest of the pattern. And labeled the various parts. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.